where's my camera? That's the wrong camera. <laughs> uh, what's up guys, welcome to uh, another chaotic fall episode, round two. So it's a couple days later from the video that just went live today. My last video, whenever you're seeing this. <laughs> uh, fall in the Gila, it's just starting to happen. I wanna challenge myself a little bit. Um, I mentioned in the last video that I had an R7 and there were, I know a lot of people wanna see R7 content, um, but I chose my R5 <laughs> and my 2470, which camera lady has today. So she's on the R5 and the 2470 filming me. Uh, and I'm gonna switch it up. This is my R6. So I'm gonna switch it up to the R7. And I was thinking initially that I wanted to do like, um, more wide angle stuff and more things that you know like maybe a more budget friendly lens so i was thinking of using one of my primes like this 24 millimeter um, the rf24 but i think what i'm going to do because of the area that i'm in and the compositions that i'm seeing i really want uh, a long lens so i'm going to i'm not making any promises for how anything's going to go down but <laughs> I'm going to switch and I'm going to roll with the 70 to 200. Um, and that's going to be like a, what, 320 or whatever it is, something like that on the R7 because it's going to be cropped. I do want something longer. I left my 1 to 500 at home, which is weird because that is my favorite lens ever. But um, the 70 to 200 is going to be good for now. And I think what I'm going to do is a backup because... There's water out here. If you guys saw my last stuff, there's like yesterday, last night, it rained on us and like mixed hail, snow, all this stuff. But the point is like there's still some random monsoons happening and there's still water where I've never seen it. And if I want water shots, I'm going to throw the 16 millimeter uh, in my pocket just to have it just in cases. So we'll just do that but I'm really wanting some more intimate, uh, longer focal length with this R7. So let's give it a go and see if I can't uh, find anything. And we're gonna see how I like the R7 for landscape photography. I think it's a good start for that. So let's get at it. Oh, that's filthy. Okay, desert living. Now let's get at it. You know what I realize? I still don't have a strap. Well, I mean, it comes with a strap, but I didn't keep the strap. I just have, oh, I ordered one. It's not here yet. It's supposed to be here tomorrow. <laughs> okay, we're going strapless today. distracted by a butterfly right there on flowers. So there's butterflies and flowers. What I really got distracted by though was this uh, new river thing going on. This is a new development for desert dwellers. Normally when I hike this trail, I've never ever seen water here. I, I know I say that a lot, but like, it's because I'm like genuinely confounded. <laughs> Also, it throws a wrench in my plans for uh, where I wanted to photograph because there's not really any good places for us to cross this without getting wet. And I just don't feel like getting wet. So I think we're going to try to go around and maybe up the mountain a little bit or at least parallel the mountain. I don't know. But I will say that starting this vlog off, this photo session, I'm definitely struggling. I'm also struggling with like the focal length 
of this R7 with the 70 to 200 is it's long, you know, because the crop factor. So I don't know. It, it might be too long. I might switch out to the 24 or the 16. Uh, but let's just let's see what we can get. So still really, really struggling. We're uh, a couple miles up the road now, and there is another, 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 another creek behind me that is like full of water that I've never seen full of water before. It's like anywhere you can go that water can go right now, there is water. <laughs> the mountains are leaking. Anyways, um, this forest is a little more open, and we're higher in elevation now too. Uh, the only thing that are going to be turning around here are the the live oaks and the ferns and stuff. And it's just really hit or miss. But I found this guy. So let's crouch down here. Uh, we've got a lot of crop. But this fern right here, backlit, but a little bit wider. That's kind of the shot that I'm looking at. And I want a little bit of these dark shadow trees uh, in there to help make that pop and it's a lot more intimate but the light is changing now so i'm going to try to pick out uh, a couple more of these ferns with maybe a dark tree in the background or something uh, and these are like some of the only ones there a lot of them are still green and then there's a bunch of them that are just completely dead like there's very few and it's just like i mean what was it like three four days ago that we filmed that last video, Brittany? Yeah. I mean, like four days ago, we filmed in kind of in this area and there, the, we found a ton of like yellow ferns. Like if you saw the video, you saw, you know, but now they're like either green or completely dead. <laughs> and it's kind of mystifying. So I'm gonna look for some more uh, backlit stuff. Yeah, just super zoomed in, intimate details like this right here and see if I can get anything with this 70 to 200. I threw a circular polarizer on to help cut through some of the glare out here and the sheen on some things. It's not a huge uh, deal or anything, but that's what this thing is on the end, this little circular polarizer. All right, let's keep going and see. I'm feeling really defeated. <laughs> I don't know why, just because it's so pretty out here and it's I just genuinely love being out here. But when you come out with a specific goal of trying to make a photograph and like it's just hard. I don't I don't know why, but struggling today. So let's go see if we can find anything else and just breathe in some very nice fresh air on the way.
Okay, so finally, like, just as my frustration was peaking, I think I found a composition that I'm happy with. So uh, let's, this is what we're looking at, minus the 16 by nine crop. But you'll notice right there in the center, we've got the little arch of the branches, and then we've got some of the backlight, uh, just the last bit of light, because that sun is about to go down. We've also got the flowing water and a little bit of reflection of the water right there. And normally you might want a circular polarizer to cut through water reflections, but in this case, it's giving me that golden reflection and I like it. So I'm just gonna focus um, underneath the arch. I'm at F10, a third of a second. And I don't think I need to do much more than that. I, I could go longer, I guess. Let me try, I'm gonna try F16. One full second. I don't think it really matters too much. As long as we get probably too much, won't look that great. I'm gonna experiment because I also kind of like, check this out, I like the wider bit. Now you've got that guy on the end over there, but then you've got this space over here but we've still got that archway and then the river. So I'm gonna experiment, but I think I like that vertical composition. What do you think? You like the vertical or the horizontal? I think they both have their merits. I may try to get closer or try to be stupid and cross right here or walk all the way around. I don't know, but we're losing light. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here because I'm still pretty frustrated and uh, it is getting dark. I don't know how much more I wanna play around. Uh, but you know, even though like I'm frustrated, I'm only frustrated, I guess, really, because I'm trying to make a YouTube video. And I think that's the difference between like going out and enjoying yourself because I am, it's weird to say that I'm, I'm also really happy right now. Being out in this stuff makes me very happy. Breathing this fresh air, it makes me very happy. Uh, the only frustration comes from like, all right, that was really weird. We just had a full memory card from Camera Lady's camera and we don't have any on us. So I had to give her mine just so that we could finish this talkie bit. But anyways, like I was saying, I'm frustrated, but I'm also really happy. And I'm only frustrated in the context of being forced to trying to create something for my job, really, for YouTube, you know. But I've had a great time out here. I think I got a couple of images that are okay. Now I'm starting to rethink that I might actually really like the images that I got from the last episode. So if you haven't seen that one, go check that one out because that one was also, actually that one wasn't as frustrating, but I, I had some diff interesting, difficult times trying to get those shots. <laughs> uh, but anyways, let me know if you guys liked any of these images that I got. I got a couple of those detailed silhouetted stuff. I got some leafy stuff. Uh, nothing amazing, but again, it's all about just getting outside. As far as the R7 is concerned for landscape, obviously I haven't had any issues, especially with a tripod and long exposures and all of that. The only issue uh, that I've had coming from an R5 is the crop factor. Uh, and again, it's not a huge issue. I just shoot wider. I, I've got the 16, the 20, I've got, you know, a whole range of things. I'm gonna do more actual videos with the R7. Of course, I know everybody's waiting for the wildlife stuff that's coming very soon, but I'm gonna do some astro and some more actual landscape stuff uh, coming up pretty soon with more detailed thoughts about the R7. So if you have any questions you wanna know about it, leave those in the comments below. If you're still here, I super appreciate it. Hit that like button for me because that's the best thing you can do for the channel and I will see you in the next one if I don't fall in this river.